Is something like this realistic? Let me reframe the question and ask something different. If there were two cable companies who had controlled the market for a long, long time, and 90% of their customers said they were deeply unhappy with what was happening, would it be unreasonable to think that a third company could come along and sweep away a bunch of those customers? My answer is no. In this country, we worship innovation. We are great entrepreneurs. This has been the era of the iPhone and Google and so on. And yet, on the political front, we are stuck with two parties, the youngest of which was created in 1854. And I would argue that when your youngest political party was created to deal with slavery, and 90% of people say they disapprove what's going on, both of those things are indications that yes, America's ready for something different. And the way we're gonna do something better is by looking at the segment of the population that is unrepresented in the political system. And that's folks in the middle. That also so happens that folks in the middle are the pragmatists who probably have the most traction towards solving the real issues that we care about. We can look to other countries where it has already happened. In Israel, one year ago, a new centrist party was created. One year later, in just one year, that party won 19 of 120 parliament seats, which made it a power broker. And the whole purpose of the centrist party is to become that power broker. So if Israel can do it in a year, then of course we can win four or five Senate seats in one election cycle or two election cycles. But at the end of the day, I can't tell you whether it's gonna work or not. What will determine whether it works is when people think about what we're trying to do, when they look at the dysfunction of the existing system, whether they are willing to actually get involved and do something about it themselves. So the one catchphrase that still resonates with me from the 1960s, not that I was around, is this idea that if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. People have complained incessantly about the broken American political system. And the question is, are they willing to do something about it? One of the curious things, certainly among my generation, is that people are highly critical of politics. People hate Washington. They hate politicians. But at the end of the day, they don't really do much about it. So this is an opportunity to do something about it. It is a new political movement. It is built around the pragmatic majority who feel like they've been disempowered. And there is an option to actually mobilize and make a difference. The question at the end of the day is whether people are willing to do that or not.